Maybe it was Flock, Maybe it was Nation Man. Flock Nation Man was good, was good, was good. It's early Monday morning, man. Those who stayed in the stream last night, you feel me? Those who was up through the stream last night, man. Props to y'all, man. Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. Uh, man, y'all could have took y'all asses to bed, man. But shit, we was up, pumped up off that damn win, man. You feel me? Uh, I seen a stat come out said that was the longest running play in franchise history. Like, no matter how you felt individually about the Derrick Henry signing, you cannot deny the potential that was there for Lamar and Henry, yo. Like, it's such a beautiful thing to see now from week one to week two to week three. We went 0-2. And showed up or at least got the win. I ain't gonna say showed up. At least got the win versus the Cowboys. And then to come out there and fucking stomp on the Bengal. I said Bengal. Stomp. That's who's next to. Y'all see where my head at. Fucking stomp on the Bills. Like. I can't I can't say it enough. This was the best Allen has been playing in his career. This is what they were saying. This is not what I believe, but this is what they were saying. So again, explain to me how he lost. How did Allen lose? You're going to have to give credit to Zachary or I had to give credit to Zachary or he did his thing. He did his thing and finally got uh, uh, Kyle going, man. Kyle looked like Kyle of old, man. And we had Kyle Van Noy doing his thing too, man. Always getting active. Our Darius getting pumped up. B. Steve really coming into his own in the NFL, yo. B. Steve going to get that bag, yo. I don't know from who, but B. Steve going to get that bag, man. For real. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else, man? Munkin caught a great game. It was points and times where I wish they would have kept going to Henry and we could have got that, that 200. But I felt that way. Uh, in the last game, Derek could have got 200, but it's all right, D Derek, Derek Henry. I'm about to DK. Derek Henry, it's all right, man. 2K, it'll be all right, bro. It'll be all right, man. It's going to be plenty of other games, plenty of other primetime games where you can go off, bro. That's just one of many. Wait till we play the Commanders. Wait till we play the Commanders. You think their defense is stopping Derek? You think any NFC team is stopping Derek? Come on, man. Like, it's about to be a beautiful process to get what we got to get this season. This this game, I knew what to expect. I knew we could get out of there with a win. I knew we wasn't going to lose. But this game, man, it... it it really highlighted for me how great and how far Lamar has come, man. Those that wasn't in the stream, man, I had to express uh, in the first part of it, the first part of the stream, not the second, not the third. In the first part of the stream, man, uh, I, I shed a few tears, man, real shit. I shed a few tears, man, because when I seen Lamar uh, doing this thing, on the sideline, talking to the team, 
uh, rallying the guys together, keeping them in line. Not to say they was out of line, but just, you know, making sure they stay in focus, making sure they ain't getting down on themselves after plays. Like, literally, yo. And then hearing Derrick Henry talk about this is what he came here for. You know what I'm saying? Just all together, man, to me, they gelling as a team. They believing in each other as a team, man. And that's more important than any talent any day, yo. For real, yo. And I love it, and I, I, I've i been waiting to see it. Uh, a lot of people going to get on Bateman for uh, what happened in the end zone. Don't get me wrong, I get it. It, it hit his fingertips. But it was a flag on the play. He got held. And if he didn't get held, the timing on that pass would have been perfect. I have no doubt in my mind Bateman grabs it. He should have still grabbed it, but, you know, Bateman, you know, it happened, man. It was a bang bang play. We want we want to discuss Bateman uh, after week five. I said week four. Give me the week five. I, I can't. I ain't. I ain't ready yet. I ain't ready yet. I'm not ready yet to talk about Bateman. Uh, not that I'm a Bateman fan. Nothing like that. I'm just saying we got another game. I want to see Bateman playing. We got another one. I could talk about him, but. The win was so great, like, there's no point of putting a damper on it. Like, there's it's no point for tough criticism right now, at least for me. At least for me. Um, living legend, man. This is smart, man. Lamar, man. You feel me? But, um... Justice Hill played great. He really did. Nelson, he had a drop. I feel like he could have grabbed that. Um, Zay, he had to get. He had a drop. He could have grabbed that. Uh, Mark Andrews, man, he had a drop. He could have grabbed that. Nate Wiggins had a drop. He could have grabbed that. Two of them. You know what I'm saying? So, plenty of plenty of uh, points in the game where you can point to and say people dropped the ball. So, you know, I'm, I'm not looking to criticize uh, them guys this game. I'm really not. Um, but if I had to, if I had to, um, as a team, I'm not impressed by Roquan Smith and Marcus Williams. I'm just not at this point. Um, I don't know what to expect from them. I'm not going to expect nothing from them. But it's crazy they're making the most money. EDC, I hope you was paying attention. Because uh, they was not. Well, hold up. Let me take that back. Let me not be as harsh. Because uh, my dog Fresh had a great point. Roquan was still directing the, the defense, doing what he had to do in communication regards. So I ain't going to get on him too much. He was doing this thing in that regard. But I still need to see an impact uh, from somebody that we paying $100 million to on the defense. Uh, aside from that, uh, Marcus Williams, this motherfucker's a straight. I, I ain't even going to say it, but it, he's fucking soft, yo. He's fucking soft. I, I see nothing noteworthy from him. Nothing. Paying this dude's seventy million dollars, and he doesn't impact the games for us. I really don't got too much to take away from this game, man. We on great vibes this week, man. We on great vibes this week, yo. Real shit, man. This is the win with it that we was looking for, yo. I think this win puts the league on notice that we not to be fucked with. Uh, anybody can get it. And I'm not saying we need to be feeling ourselves or smelling ourselves, but uh, we was facing zero and two. I mean, zero and three. Like Henry said, back against the wall. 
what are you going to do? The res, the, what, what that shit called? Like, adversity. Responding to adversity. It was beautiful. Any motherfucker that's had major losses this year and was able to bounce back at some point in time, man. This game was for us. You never know uh, what what can happen, man. Uh, just a little side story, right? And I had I had to take my plants up. I had to pull them out the ground because uh, it hurt me to do it. But I had to because the weather changed in a little bit, so it wasn't they wasn't gonna grow. But I started growing uh, growing watermelon seeds, man. Right? I didn't want to just throw them away, so I started growing them. But I started them off in this uh, little flower pot. Like I just automatically thought it was gonna be better in there. They started growing pretty fast, like really fast. You know what I mean? It was growing. Uh, but the stems were real long and my 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 uh the two little sprouting leaves was at the top. And I was like, damn, they getting too long. I'm gonna have to plant these outside. So I take them out, repot them outside, and as I do them, they like look like they was wheelchair. I was worried. I was like, oh shit. They probably gonna die. I'm like, fuck. Nope. I watered them as much as I could. And in a few days, they started sticking up. You know what I'm saying? Time go by. I said, you know what? Let me just get rid of my uh, my other ones, too. Planted them last. But everything else is sprout. Month go by. Time go by. Whatever. I'm talking about these bitches growing fast, but you got to keep in mind if anybody that uh, ever tried to grow watermelon seeds, uh, you got to wait for the, to them for them to start flowering and budding and shit, and then you got to uh, germinate them yourself or pollinate them yourself. Excuse me, but I did all that. I, I thought I was able to was going to be able to do all that, but I, I think I kind of fucked up the process by. Uh, uh, putting them in a flower pot first opposed to putting them in the sun because it probably would have bloomed a lot faster than what it was doing. But I'm saying this all for a reason because everything mattered. Everything that I'm saying, it, it mattered. Because the last few seeds that I grew, like, keep in mind, this is months later, two months later, whatever. The fucking flower bed is, is full of the fucking plant of watermelon seeds. I don't know what to call it. Whatever. It's full. I'm talking about these bitches is growing. So, the last few seeds that I planted, why, and I named all my plants. So, this one in particular was called Lil' Kim. I called Lil' Kim for obvious reasons because she was the youngest out the bunch. She was tiny. Just was growing. I say within a, a matter of a week, she outgrew everything that I originally started with. And I'm saying that because it matters towards the ratings. I've been meaning to tell y'all this story, but it must have been divine intervention that I forgot to, to speak on it. It must have been divine intervention that I forgot to speak on it. You feel me? But because now is it, it, a perfect time to talk about it. So I say all that to say this. Ravens Flock, Ravens Nation, man. How we started, you know, it was definitely looking suspect. The environment we were in, we were in a flower pot at first. I'm not sure what changed among coaching. I'm not sure. Well, I know what changed among Lamar, but as far as coaching, I don't know what changed. I don't know if Munkin got free reigns. I don't know. But as far as I'm concerned, we changed the environment from the flower pot to the flower bed. 
Yeah, we was we wasn't standing up right. We we needed some water, some nutrients from and that and that photosynthesis of the sun. You feel me? The right amount of sun, the right amount of water, everything is going to create the environment, right? And even though we was one of the last teams to really finally get it right to start growing as a team, guess what? We didn't overlap everybody now. Just off that one win. People ain't got to believe me. People ain't got to agree with me. But just off that one win, we didn't eat eclipsed the rest of the NFL. There's no NFC teams fucking with us right now. There's no AFC teams fucking with us right now. And it's yet to be seen from the Chiefs if they can respond off of Rasheed Rice being gone now. If they can still win games now with, with one less wide receiver, then I'll I, I hush up. But until then, we beat the highest team in the NFL. Such out to Lamar, man, the great one. Yo, I'm I'm in a mind state, in the mind frame of calling Lamar the GOAT right now. I don't give a fuck about no damn rings right now. Cause that game yesterday, that was fit for a general. And that's exactly what he looked out there, man. Put the soldier hats in the, in the in the comment section, man. Put the soldier hats up in there, man. Because that's what we on right now. Ravens flock is the army, better yet the navy. Put put the motherfucking uh, soldier soldier hat emojis in the comments if y'all made it this far, man. Because it's time, man. It's time, yo. It's lit. Can't wait. I know y'all already been waiting. I know they getting started. It's going to be nothing but content all this week for what people got to say about the Ravens flock, man. Ravens flock, man. Shout out, shout out to y'all. Flock Nation, shout out to y'all. Ravens flock, shout out to y'all. You feel me? Uh, being a Ravens fan is not easy. But... At bare minimum, man, we come out, play games like this, and fucking dominate, and we always back in the topic of conversation. Props to LJ. At the end of the day, you're never out the fight with LJ. And now we got the defense locking in. Not that they wasn't. But we can't rely on two individuals and on the defense and everybody else is stepping up. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful, yo. I, I was shedding tears watching Lamar uh, orchestrate, especially again on the sidelines, man. It was beautiful, man. I, I It's been a long time coming, man. I've been waiting for somebody to just overstep John Harbaugh just come in, do what they got to do, make us relevant. We got six more primetime games this season. We just getting started. Lamar said this is just the beginning. Ravens flock, Ravens nation, man, flock nation, man. Y'all have a great week. This ain't going to be the last video, but I'm just saying, y'all have a great week. Y'all have a safe week. Y'all have a great day. Uh, I appreciate y'all for tuning in if you've been watching this far. Uh, <sighs> this is great vibes, man, all around, man. Y'all protect y'all energy, man. Y'all protect yourself. Uh, be safe out here, man. Again, I appreciate y'all. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about the game in the comments. Uh, all good, all bad, whatever it is. Tell me how y'all feel in the comments. Uh, yeah, man, we around, yo. Flock Nation, Ravens Nation, man. Ravens Flock. I'm out.